Hello and welcome to your graduation ceremony. We've had to get used to virtual gatherings since spring of this year, but this is not just any gathering. This is your graduation, a very special day. Of course, we would rather be in the Whitlow Hall together in person, but on behalf of all of the staff here at the School of Pharmacy, I offer you my warmest congratulations. A different kind of graduation, but still a day for celebration. Graduations are always a very special time in the Queen's calendar. Winter graduations have a very different feel from summer graduations, both equally significant, but there was always something very special about coming from the cold into the warmth of the Whitla Hall and holding graduation with the backdrop of Christmas lights and a wonderful aroma of mulled wine and mince pies wafting from the marquee. Unfortunately, restrictions mean that we cannot do that together this year, but let's not focus on what we're missing. Today is still a day for celebration and warmest applause, albeit virtually. COVID-19 has meant that we will not have the opportunity to celebrate together, but it has not changed a single thing about what is at the core of this, your graduation day, formally marking your achievement and success and expressing our shared pride in all that you have done to get to this milestone and special moment in your lives. Many words have been used to describe these days since March. Unprecedented, surreal, challenging. The list goes on. Some of us have exercised more, many of us have eaten more, but so many have faced real adversity. For society, it has been difficult, and no less so for you, as you have endeavoured to navigate your final year of university life or postgraduate studies in these COVID days. Each year, we feel a real sense of pride in our graduates, this year is no different, and if anything, our sense of pride is deeper and more poignant. I want to thank you for how you've faced these last number of months. You have faced restricted access to laboratories, teaching and meetings have moved online, social contact has been reduced, many activities have halted, a buzzing campus was hushed, and your student experience ended in a markedly different way to how it began. Through all of this, you've been determined, resolute, and remain positive pushing through adversity and finishing well. There's an old Arabic proverb which says, sunshine all the time makes a desert. It alludes to difficult and dark times often being a time of growth, cultivating personal depth and perseverance. I've seen that with so many of you. Lord of the Rings fans may be familiar with Gandalf's famous line, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Today, you're graduating from Queen's University, Belfast. As a university, we've collectively risen to the challenge of these times. We've been leading new research projects to address COVID-19, supporting local, national and international efforts to expand our knowledge of the pandemic and using this enhanced intelligence to develop solutions that will benefit society, both locally and globally. Pharmacists have been in the front line and pharmaceutical scientists have been contributing to the effort in the search for effective treatments or a vaccine through research. Never have your skills been so urgently needed in today's world. I'm particularly proud that students in the school have made valuable contributions to healthcare and essential services through volunteering and part-time work. Our commitment to widening participation hasn't wavered and we've been involved in some superb projects including getting 1,000 books to young children in care during lockdown. Innovation, resilience, and a belief that we can all make a difference has underpinned our response to these days. You've been part of that.
Hi folks, Gia Dave. I want to send you all a big heartfelt co-gorgeous and congratulations from the Students' Union on finishing your studies. You should all be so proud of this achievement. I know for many of you, this might not be the celebration that you had expected, but wherever you are and however you're celebrating, know that you deserve it. This is a time to reflect on your experiences while at Queen's, the things you've learned, the clubs and societies you joined, and the friends you've made during your time here. And I hope more than anything that your time at Queen's has helped you work towards the future that you've always imagined. And I wish you all the best as you move on, knowing that you will change and lead our society for the better. Thank you. Congratulations to you all as you graduate today. Whether you have completed a BSc, an MSc, MPhil or PhD, you have worked extremely hard and in even more challenging circumstances. As you leave today and as you graduate, I wish you the very best in the next phase of your life, both your professional and personal lives. Remember to stay connected, build networks, and have an attitude of lifelong learning. I am a proud alumni of the School of Pharmacy, Queen's University, Belfast. And I am sure that as you look back in the next few years, you will be too and your pride starts now, in fact. Congratulations once again, class of 2020, and enjoy your celebrations. They're so well deserved. It's a pleasure to be participating in this celebration today. This celebration of your graduation and the graduation of your peers around you. There have been as many plagues as wars in history, and humanity so far has survived and adapted. During these times, we have asked questions on sacrifice, love, death, and destiny. You have lived through one of these periods. During this epoch in the past year, and you are to be enormously congratulated for your success in your degree, considering the disruptions and the challenges you have had to face uh, since March. Healthcare and life sciences are key to the functioning of a fair and prosperous society. You will be privileged in the next steps in your career to contribute and lead uh, in communities, hospitals, industry, education and government. And over your career, you will enjoy the contribution to making this a fairer, more just and happier society. I hope we have prepared you to think, create, collaborate, and to be a generation who will rebuild a sustainable planet and a fair society. Today, in this ceremony, it is a time for celebration. The next number of weeks are a time for celebration over the holiday season. I hope you enjoy it. Please do it differently and do it safely. And I wish you all the best for the next stage uh, in your careers. Today is a special occasion as you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I would like to congratulate you all in reaching this very significant milestone. I know that you have all worked extremely hard to reach this point and you should be proud, very proud. You're graduating in a year that has seen unprecedented change across the world. But you're also graduating in a special year for our university as we celebrate our 175th anniversary. Since 1845, our world leading researchers, pioneering students and inspirational alumni have made a real difference to society here in Northern Ireland and indeed across the world. You now join that talented and high achieving Academy of Queen's alumni who continue to shape the world in which we live. As a graduate, you'll always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I am immensely proud of. Not least because 
of how our students and staff have responded to the challenges of 2020. Our staff and students have adapted rapidly to new ways of working and learning, and our researchers have been playing their part in global efforts to understand, to treat, to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also a community that will play a key role in our society and our economy as we recover from this pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, you'll be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the years ahead. Congratulations again on reaching this incredible milestone and I do hope you've enjoyed the virtual graduation and have the ability to celebrate with your family and friends. Hello everyone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, it is my honor to congratulate our winter 2020 graduates. And because yes, it takes a village, congratulations as well to your family, friends, and the entire Queen's community. This year marks 175 years of Queens, and I wish I could be in Belfast to celebrate this milestone and congratulate you in person. But as you know, nothing is more important than doing our part to stop the spread of this virus. And I'm so grateful to everyone at Queens for your commitment to doing just that. I know this is not how any of us pictured your last year at Queens, but that does not make this occasion or any of your achievements any less significant. In fact, I would argue the circumstances in which you have completed your studies make your achievements even more remarkable. You've shown incredible resilience, flexibility, and determination in the face of unprecedented circumstances. When I was a little girl, my mother Dorothy taught me that life isn't about what happens to you, it's about what you do with what happens to you. So class of 2020, you will be remembered for graduating during a pandemic, but you will also be remembered for the ways you responded to this crisis with creativity and compassion. You're graduating in a challenging moment to be sure, but no one is better equipped to meet this moment than you, a generation of critical thinkers, problem solvers and entrepreneurs. And it fills me with hope to know how prepared each of you is to chart your own path forward and to help build a better future for all of us. Class of 2020, everyone at Queens is very proud of you. And we cannot wait to see how you will make your mark on the world. So congratulations again. And I wish you every success in what I know will be a brighter future. I'm delighted to announce that we have some teaching awards to present. In the category of Rising Stars, Dr. Rebecca Craig. Also in the team category, Dr. Bridgine Gervin, Dr. Sharon Hockey, and Dr. Mary Carmel Kearney. Congratulations to them all. Final year is not how any of us would have imagined. It will be a year none of us will forget very quickly, but let it be a year which won't simply be defined by COVID-19's unwelcome arrival. It's the year of your graduation and a year when you have nurtured resilience. Poets and writers have often drawn upon the seasons to talk about life. Here we are in the bleak midwinter in the midst of a global pandemic, but we know from experience that winter fades and spring comes. There is much to celebrate much to be hopeful about, much to look forward to. And now let's focus on the good and what is happening. This event may be virtual, yes, but it is no less real. You have reached a milestone and realized a major achievement. I and all my colleagues here in the School of Pharmacy warmly and most sincerely congratulate you on your graduation. And now we have a short montage of your time at Queen's. Enjoy the celebrations.